Yo, 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 yo. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, 706 Gamer. What's up, man? Alright, so today's topic Sony E3 2018. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The shit I'm hearing. Damn, this this is this is the media bias shit that a lot of us uh Xbox enthusiasts were screaming about it in the beginning of the generation. So for those you don't know, it's been uh said that Sony is not gonna focus on new games or they're not gonna announce any new games at uh E three this year. They're gonna focus on the same four. I think it's Days Gone, Ghost of Yoshida, Death Stranding and I can't remember the last one and what I find funny is uh, there's a lot of uh, Sony or PlayStation enthusiasts that are uh, they're damage controlling this saying hey it's okay because we already know what games are coming out in the next four years wow 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 let, let Microsoft have done this it have been a whole different story if Microsoft would have did it now you're right in saying that it's not really gonna hurt Sony um, immediately because you know of course Sony has a strong lineup this year and of course they have set a roadmap for the customers uh, you know for the next couple years so they know what games they're getting but let's not sit here and act like everybody's gonna like those games and everybody's gonna enjoy those games uh, I think this is a uh, complacency man we see this a lot we really see this a lot we see one platform um, at the top and they see that they're beating all the other platforms and they just get complacent and I'm calling Sony out on this man I, I think it's a complacent move you, you they have the opportunity to, to really crush Microsoft and they're gonna take their foot off the gas <clears throat> and you know what I'm saying hindsight is 2020 right now it looks like you know Sony's gonna be fine they've got almost 80 million consoles so you know if I was Sony too I would put my foot off the gas with you know it's what some would say but I don't know man it might not be Microsoft it might not be Nintendo it could be a new contender you shouldn't get complacent man you never know who's gonna come up and knock you off your throne and you know for for those you damage controlling it man I I'm, I'm calling hypocrisy on it man I really am man cuz you know Microsoft did this the la uh, last gen and you see you see how they ended up uh, this generation, I man, complacency is not good for a company. You should always be strive. You should always try to be better. Not only should you be trying to match your competition, but you should try to exceed it. And then once you've exceeded your competition, you should continue to grow. And this this is an example of why competition is good. If there was no Microsoft, if there was no Nintendo to compete with Sony. PlayStation, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think PlayStation would be as good as it is today. Uh, you know, Microsoft introduced Xbox Live Party, and Sony introduced a party system on PlayStation 4 to compete with Microsoft. Um, in turn, you know, Sony is what, Sony was killing Microsoft as far as hardware and power. So, Microsoft answer back with the Xbox One X so that's why comp competition breeds excellence man if these if these companies didn't have anyone to compete with they would just um, put out shitty devices and shitty services and you couldn't complain about it because you wouldn't have an alternative so uh, <clears throat> I see a lot of people you know always making a comment comment or uh, uh, making a comment that Microsoft should just get out of the gaming business but believe me you don't want that look Sony's getting complacent complacent if uh, Microsoft left and it was just Sony and Nintendo I don't think Sony would try as hard and put out as many games I think Sony would become the new Microsoft you know why invest money in the new games there's nobody to compete with I mean customers want games they have to come to us and they have to accept what we offer um, uh, you know at least in the console space not not talking about PC. I know Mass would have a lot to say about PC, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, I think 
you Sony fans should really be against this move. Uh, I think Sony should announce something new, even if it's one or two games. Um, though I think it's going to hurt them. Again, you know, we don't know the future, but the way it seems, Sony does seem to have this generation on lock. But, I mean, you, you never know, man. Um, and it may start this year, but what about next year, you know? Sony might, if Microsoft doesn't come out with anything to compete with Sony, then Sony could do the same thing next year. Are you going to damage control the next year? You know? Something to think about. But, you know, I don't I don't like the move. Um, and as far as E3, I'm hoping Microsoft does announce some, some heavy hitters. I know at least some good console exclusives. You know, competition is good. It keeps prices down and it keeps um, services and products at their best. But, uh, you know, that's all I want to uh, say or speak on this matter. But uh, let me know your feelings. You know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. All right. Yeah, peace out.